Hello students, we are going to learn insect physiology today. Insect physiology includes the physiology and biochemistry of insect organ systems. Particularly, we are going to deal with digestive system of an insect. It is used to extract nutrients and other substances from the food it consumes. Most of this food is ingested in the form of macromolecules and other complex substances such as proteins, polysaccharides, fats and nucleic acids, which is broken down by catabolic reactions into smaller molecules that is amino acids and simple sugars etc. Before being used by cells of the body for energy, growth or reproduction, this breaking down process is known as digestion. Elementary canal of an insect consists of core gut, mid gut and hind gut. Core gut consists of mouth, pharynx, then esophagus, then crop which is a storehouse, then proventriculus or gizzard. Midgut consists of midgut cecum, then ventriculus, and pyloric uh, malphigian tubules. Hindgut consists of ileum, rectum, and anus. The insect's digestive system is closed system with one long enclosed coil tube called the elementary canal, which runs lengthwise throughout the body. The elementary canal only allows food to enter the mouth and then gets processed as it is traveled towards the anus. Actual physiology of digestion is it has specific sections for grinding and food storage, enzyme production and nutrient absorption. Sphincters control the food and fluid movement between three regions. The three regions includes foregut, the midgut, and the hindgut. Insects also have paired salivary glands and salivary reservoirs reside in the thorax adjacent to the foregut. The salivary glands produce saliva. The salivary ducts leads from the glands to the reservoirs and then forward it to the head to an opening called the salivarium behind the hypopharynx. Movements of the mouth parts helps to mix saliva with food in the buccal cavity. Saliva mixes with food which travels through salivary tubes into the mouth beginning the process of breaking down. Stomatodium that is foregut. This region stores, grinds and transfers food to the next region which includes buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus and gizzard. Salivary secretions from the labial glands dilute the ingested food in mosquitoes belongs to the order diptera which are blood feeding insects anticoagulants and blood thinners are also released here next part of the elementary canal that is mesenteron here digestive enzymes in this region are produced and secreted into the lumen and here nutrients are absorbed into the insect's body food is enveloped by this part of the gut as it arrives from the foregut by the peritrophic membrane which is a mucopolysaccharide layer secreted from the midgut's epithelial cells. This membrane prevents food pathogens from contacting the epithelium and attacking the insect's body. It also acts as a filter allowing small molecules through but preventing large molecules and particles of food from reaching the midgut cells. After the large substances are broken down into smaller ones, digestion and consequent nutrient absorption takes place at the surface that is epithelium. Microscopic projections from the midgut wall called microvilli increases surface area and allow, the, allow for maximum absorption of nutrients. Last part of the elementary canal that is proctodium, this is divided into three sections, the anterior is ileum, 
middle one is colon and the posterior one is rectum. This extends from the pyloric wall which is located between the mid and the hind gut to the anus. Absorption of water, salts and other beneficial substances takes place before excretion. The removal of toxic metabolic waste requires water. However, for very small animals like insects, water conservation is a priority. Because of this, blind ended ducts called malfusion tubules come into play. These ducts emerge as evaginations at the anterior end of the handguard and are the main organ of osmoregulation and excretion. These extract the waste products from the hemolymph in which all the internal organs are bathed. These tubules continuously produce the insect's uric acid which is transported to the hindgut where important salts and water are reabsorbed by both the hindgut and rectum. Excrement is then voided as insoluble and non-toxic toxic uric acid granules. Excretion and osmoregulation in insects are not orchestrated by the malfusion tubule alone but require a joint function of the ileum and rectum. Thank you.